Hello my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and these are the hottest Golden Age comics for the week. It's a pretty, <laughs> not a good week for Golden Age, I think. Great stuff, not so great prices. Well, great if you're a buyer. A bit of a buyer's market this week. Um, number 10 on the list is Fighting Yank number 22. Um, this is from Nidor, 1947. It is an Alex Schomburg uh, cover. Uh, just really great one. <laughs> he got Miss Mask, he got a dinosaur, uh, he got Fighting Yank. Um, just a cool cover. Uh, this was a 2.0 that sold, and it sold for $379. Now, this is the only sale in this grade, so um, it's hard to really compare it, but um, the easiest thing to compare it to would be the 5.5 that sold in September of 2020. Uh, which sold for $450. So this is kind of in line with what you would expect um, the 2.0 to go for. Maybe maybe a little high on the on the price. Maybe it should sell for around $250 to $300 range. So this one, good sale. <laughs> good sale. Strong sale for this one. Um, uh, there are 19 of these on the census, and 16 of them are Universal Blue Labels. Number 9 on the list is Mystery Men Comics number 7. Uh, this is from Fox, 1940. Uh, it's the first actual cover appearance of the Blue Beetle. Um, and it's a cool bondage cover as well. Uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of a weird one where he's coming in shooting and the guy gets like shot in the eye, uh, but somehow is facing the reader, but Blue Beetle's behind him. I don't know how that works, but it's kind of a weird, uh, weird cover <laughs> in that respect. Uh, but very cool one. Um, this was a 1.5 that sold, and it sold for $975, which is a very good price uh, for the buyer, <laughs> because the previous sale back in March of 2016 was $1,201. Um, so this is well down from what it sold for almost 10 years ago, 8 years ago. Um, even a 1.0 had just recently sold in November of 2023 for $1,200. So this was a bit of a steal. Um, there are 22 of these on the census and 13 are universal blue labels. Number eight on the list is Blue Ribbon Comics number five. Uh, this is from MLJ, a 1940. It's a Charles Biro cover and it's a classic cover. <laughs> it's just a really cool one. Got this guy with three machine guns. Uh, just a classic World War II cover. Um, this was a really high-grade copy, actually. It was a 7.0 that sold, and sold for $999. Now, that wasn't actually a listing price. That was actually an auction price. Somebody had bid <laughs> $999. So I think that's kind of a con funny price that it ended out at. Um, this is the only sale in this grade, um, but a 7.5 actually sold back in uh, September of 2021, for $1,320. Uh, and a 4.5 sold for $670 in 2024. Uh, so September of 2024. So this one you would expect to go for around maybe $1,100. So it's a little bit under what you would expect this one to sell for. But um, a reasonable sale. Not a great sale, but not, a, not too bad. Um, there are 14 of these on the census, and 12 are universal blue labels. Number 7 on the list is Pep Comics number 13, another MLJ comic uh, from 1941. It's an Irv Novak um, cover. Um, this one is interesting because you got a <laughs> woman in, bo um, in bondage in a coffin, and you got these weird vampire creatures and other weird monsters, and they're there's like embalming fluid. I think they're gonna like <laughs> make her a, like a monster or something. It's really weird and uh, you got the this, the shield coming in to save her. Um, so just an interesting comic uh, overall. Uh, this was a 1.8 that sold and it sold for $1,236. Now there's something interesting about this one. It does have a note even though it's a blue label it, it has a note saying very minor color touch. Um, now, does that make people a little bit wary about this book? I'm not sure, uh, because it didn't sell for much <laughs> compared to what the previous record for this book was. The exact same, uh, not the exact same book, actually, different one. Um, 
this book had sold for um previously nineteen hundred and twenty dollars in January of twenty twenty four so um this year it sold for about fifty percent more so were people a little bit nervous about that color touch? I'm not sure, but definitely this book sold for well under what it had previously sold. Uh, there's only 15 of these on the census, and 15 are universal blue labels. Number six on the list is Crime Suspense Stories number 20. Uh, this is from EC Comics 1953. It's a Johnny Craig cover. And this one was mentioned in The Seduction of Innocent. Not only was it mentioned in The Seduction of Innocent, it was one of the ones that had um, like one of the photos in the uh, Seduction of Innocent to show how heinous the cover, <laughs> the cover is. Um, and, you know, this is one where you got a hanging cover. Uh, the neck is literally broken. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty disturbing cover. Um, so that's why it was mentioned in the Seduction of Innocent, which was what led to the end of the Golden Age of Comics. So... A uh, very uh, major comic for um, collectors to go after. This was a 1.8 that sold, and it sold for $1,275. Now, this is actually way up. This is one of the big uh, up uh, comics on the list, because the previous record for this book uh, from August of 2024, so not that long ago, was $729. So this is way up, um, about 50% up from the record that, that it had set earlier this year. Normally this book sells for about, in this grade, usually about $700. So um, this was a very strong sale, up 50%. Uh, this book is very common for the Golden Age. Uh, EC Comics had pretty uh, um, large um, census counts, actually. Uh, this one had has 313 on the census and 298 are universal blue labels. So I think somebody a bit overpaid on this one, <laughs> but but definitely a cool book. Uh, number five on the list uh, is Authentic Police Cases number 24. This is from St. John, 1952. Um, it's a Matt Baker cover. It's a pretty cool cover. It's like a they're in the these crooks are in the basement and there's like a fire blazing around and you got the girl either I'm not sure if she's adding to the fire or like you know pouring water it looks like she's almost pouring gasoline on the fire <laughs> I don't know it's kind of a weird cover that way um and you got sort of a police shootout where the police are shooting these crooks that are hiding in the basement very interesting cover um this was a 7.5 that sold uh and it sold for $1,470 uh, this is down from the previous record, uh, which was set back in August of 2022 for $1,560. So it's down about $100 from what it sold for two years ago. Um, now, I looked at other books on the census, and they were generally going up. So this one was just, I don't know, it just didn't perform as well as some of the other grades had performed. Um... There's only 18 of these on the census, and 18 are universal blue labels. Number four on the list is Adventure Comics number 61. This is from DC Comics 1941. It's a Jack Burnley cover, and it fe features the first appearance of Starman. And um, that's Ted Knight, a uh, very cool character. And um, this was a 2-5 that sold. And it sold for $2,725. Now this is way down because the previous record for this book was set back in June of 2021 uh, for $4,500. Now at the time when that other sale happened, uh, the Stargirl show was going on and Starman was part of the Stargirl show. So um, there might have been a little bit of hype and a little bit more expectation for this book back then. Um, but this is down almost half from what it sold for in the past. So very weak sale for this book, but a classic book. Uh, very hard to find, actually. Even though there's 67 on the census and 37 are universal blue labels, you just don't see this book that often. Um, very cool book. Uh, number three on the list is Captain Marvel Adventures, number one. Uh, this is from Fawcett, 1941. Uh, it's a C.C. Beck cover, and it's the very first um, series, major series for Captain Marvel. Um, 
he was originally in Wiz Comics, but this is the first time where they created a second title for him, uh, where it's titled after his his name. So, um, very important uh, book uh, for that reason. Uh, this was a one eight that sold, and it actually sold from one of a fellow YouTuber, <laughs> Dragon Ink Comics, a cool guy, um, uh, and it sold for. $2,827.77. Um, that is way down. Really, this book has really tumbled. Uh, the previous record for this book was set back in June of 2022 for $9,600. So it's way down, like a third of what it sold for. It sort of sold high during the, the peak of COVID. Um, part of the reason you had... Uh, the Black Adam movie. He also had the Shazam movie. So there was a bit of hype around uh, Captain Marvel. Um, but neither movie performed that well. And uh, that hype has sort of faded. Even by September of uh, 2022, the book had already dropped to $6,427. Um, now, just to show you how much this book has gone down, and how a negative movie can really impact the value of a comic. When before COVID, back in May of 2020, uh, 12, uh, May, May of uh, 2012, um, this book had sold for $4,183. So this is actually down from the price, <laughs> like almost half from the price that it sold for t over 10 years ago, 12 years ago. So really a major drop on this book. Um, and it's kind of disappointing to see that it's dropped that much. I wish I had seen it, though. I might have picked it up. <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty good price. Um, so there are 68 of these on the census, and 37 of them are universal blue labels. Number two on the list is Pep Comics number one. This is from MLJ, 1940. It's an Irv cover, Novak cover, and... Um, it's a robot cover, which is kind of cool, and it features the first appearance of the S.H.I.E.L.D., who's on the cover fighting the robots. Um, now, the S.H.I.E.L.D. is an interesting character because on his chest is like a triangle S.H.I.E.L.D., and actually, uh, when Captain America first came out, he had a triangle S.H.I.E.L.D., but because of the S.H.I.E.L.D. from uh, MLJ, um, they decided to make uh, Captain America S.H.I.E.L.D circular so this is the character that made captain america's shield circular <laughs> make it his, like instead of uh, the triangle shield um this is also the first appearance of a cat of uh, american patriot and comet uh now this is the book that really launched um archie comics believe it or not so in pep 22 it becomes uh the very first appearance of archie and the rest is history after that. It, they later changed their name from MLJ to Archie Comics. Um, this was a 2.5 that sold, and it sold for $3,050. Uh, $3, this is the only sale in this grade, but this was actually a pretty strong sale. Um, it was from my comic shop where they sold it. Um, and it's comparable, like to if you look at uh, the 3.0. Uh, it sold for $2,520 uh, back in September of 2024, so last month or a couple months ago. Um, and, but, so you think, okay, well, this is up compared to that 3.0. But actually, that 3.0 was down. <laughs> so I think what happened was they, whoever priced this, priced it based on that, not that 3.0 sale, but a prior 3.0 sale. So there was actually a 3.0 sale back in December of 2022 for $4,560. So about um, 2000 more than that recent sale of the 3.0. So I think whoever priced it at my comic shop were, was really going by that higher price. Um, and that's why they sold it for 3000 but uh, just an interesting sale, um, kind of in line with what you would expect this to sell for, maybe a little low on, on comparative to that higher sale from 2022. 
but um, kind of in line with what has, this book has been doing recently. Uh, there are 44 of these on the census, and 35 of them are universal blue labels. Number one on the list is Catman Comics number one. Uh, this is from Continental, 1941. It is a Charles Quinlan cover, or Chaz Quinlan. Um, it is the origin and first appearance of both the Deacon and um, uh, sidekick Mickey. It's not the first appearance of Catman, believe it or not, but it is it is the appearance of those other two characters. Um, now, this is an interesting one because it is it was a three uh, it was a five five sale so it's a 5.5 5 sale uh and it sold for four thousand five hundred and fifty dollars now that's way down <laughs> way way down uh the prior record for this book uh was set back in november of 2024 for the exact same book um i i checked the serial numbers uh, on the slab and it was the exact same book and it had previously sold back in November of 2024, like a week ago, two weeks ago, um, for $6,905. So <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. Now, it could have been the case that this book, um, both were eBay auctions. So maybe what happened was the previous auction, the person that bid that high didn't actually pay and it just got resold by the same vendor. I'm not sure, but it looks like um, the same book had sold for twenty uh, sixty nine hundred, and then the two weeks later it sold for forty three hundred. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, the previous record for this book, though, um, so would maybe kind of answer that question. I think somebody maybe they bid too high, pulled out at the like didn't pay. And then uh, it got resold by the same vendor, is my guess. Um, because the the previous record for this book, before all these weird sales, uh, was $3,240 back in June of 2023. So just last year. So this is actually up from last year's price. <laughs> Even with the, you know, so ignore that $6,900 sale. Because to me, that's a little fishy. Something's weird there. Um this book uh, seems to be up from where it sold last year. So very hard book to find, by the way. Uh, Catman, the Catman series in general are fairly tough to find. Uh, very desired by collectors because very cool series. They feature a lot of artwork by Chaz Quinlan and uh, L.B. Cole. So the early issues are all Chaz Quinlan and the later issues are very cool art by L.B. Cole. So very desired uh, collection. Uh, there are 59 of these on the census, and 53 of them are universal blue labels. So that's this week's list. Bit of ups, bit of downs. <laughs> I was surprised by how many uh, sort of big books had really kind of tumbled. Um, what did you think of this list? Um, put your comments below, and thanks again for watching. Bye for now.